Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to paint with us because we like to paint together and today we are doing oh, a panda family. I'm so excited, I think pandas are so cute. They're so cute and they're rumbling and tumbling. <laughs> So we're gonna paint them together. Now you will see that you are going to be using a blank piece of paper, which means you get to draw together. So we're gonna be doing that. So grab a pencil to help you draw them. And then guess what? We're just using one color today. Wow. We're just using Payne's gray. What? So it's a gray. Now if you have a black, you can also use a black because we're gonna be basically making a lighter color. So you can use black as well. Now, the other thing is we always have a cup of water, have your paintbrush. Now, I'm gonna be using my smaller brush. I like to have two brushes, but because this is such a small area, I'm gonna be using my smaller brush, so I'll have that. And then the last tool is that I'm gonna be using a white jelly roll. Now, if you have a white pen, you can use that. So what we're gonna use is we're gonna, we're gonna use that for is to draw our paws. Now, if you have white paint, maybe a white acrylic paint or bleed proof white, those will also work to do this project together. Now, the first step that we like to always do is I'd like you to raise your hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Boom. Okay, and that is Keenan in the back. Hello. Who's gonna be our cameraman telling us some pa fun panda facts, right? As many as I can find. <laughs> okay, so the first step is, is grab your pencil, and I want you to think about how many pandas do you want? Now, you may want more than three. I'm gonna show you how you can draw three, but if you wanna draw two, or if you wanna draw five, you can do that too. You just need to make them a little bit smaller to fit in your paper. So. A good thing to start is start on one of the sides. Now I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna start on the left side because it's easier for me. So I want you to start with the head. So do you see how on here, I'll do it like this actually. Do you see how the head is a little bit higher and then the body's lower? Just like our body, we have heads and bodies. So when you're drawing this, draw it a little bit higher in the upper area. So draw a circle. And then you're gonna draw a bigger circle below it and have it attached. So it's more like an oval, like that. Now repeat those steps and maybe this one is the baby one. And I'm gonna draw maybe the mama one. A lot bigger in the middle. And then I'm gonna draw one more. So repeat those steps. So draw the head. And then draw the body, boom. Whew. You made your panda, you drew it first. Now, the next step is, is you are going to grab your Payne's gray, so your gray or black, like I said, and we're gonna make a really, really light gray. Now, I only need one drop. Whoa, that was a lot of drops, so that's okay. But what I wanna show you is we're going to make a lighter color. So, let's show you what this color looks like if we were to use it straight. Whoa, so it basically is black. Dark. Yeah. So what we want is we want the lighter color because pandas are actually white. If you can see on this photo right here, they're actually white, but they have a little tint of gray. So to make really light gray is we're gonna do our magic trick where you dip your brush in water. And let's put some water over here on our palette and just take a little bit of my gray and I'm gonna mix it in. Oh, look at that already. Amazing. Oh, that's really, really light. So maybe Whoa. we'll add a little bit more so you can see it. So the magic trick is that water to any color makes it lighter. So you could do this trick with any of them. Whoa, do you see it? Yeah. That's awesome. So we went from gray plus water equals light gray. So we're going to use that. I'm gonna take up that color and I'm gonna paint. So paint the body of your panda bears. Paint all of them. Did you have some fun facts, Keenan? I do. Okay. I have 10. Oh, okay, tell For us. For now, I might have more, who knows. Let's see. So the first one, it says they have great camouflage for their environment. Oh. Yeah, which I never would have thought of. Yeah, because they're so, I guess they're black and white. The giant panda's distinct black and white markings have two functions, camouflage 
and communication. Most of the panda, its face, neck, belly, rump, is white to help it hide in snowy habitats. Oh! The arms and legs are black, helping it to hide in shade. <gasps> That's cool! That's super cool. That makes sense, because it's when you're in the shade, it's a little bit darker. Yeah. Whoa, this one's cool. You want another one? Are you ready? Yeah, go for another okay. one. Okay. Their eyes are different when compared to other bears. Okay. Like domestic cats, or your house cat, giant pandas have vertical slits for pupils. So instead of horizontal or round, they're straight up and down. Whoa! Yeah. We should draw that then. We should figure that out, what it looks like. So their eyes are different. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So we painted our whole body while Keenan gave us some fun facts. Now, the next step is, is you are going to use your gray that you have right here and we're gonna draw the ears. So they have two ears on the top. Now, if your paper is wet, mine's a little bit wet, is you can either let it dry, or what you can do is you can just have your hand kind of hovering so you see that my hand isn't touching the paper because we don't want to smear. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna dip in your color, and you're gonna draw a half circle or an arch on the left, and then fill it in. And then one on the right. And the fun thing about it is some ears may be shorter, some may be taller or bigger. Maybe one of the ears is folded. Can they do that? Can their ears they can. fold? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> the right and the left. Okay, now, next step is, <laughs> which I wanna show you. This is the cool thing about watercolors. You see how this panda, cause I did it last, was kind of wet. The black ended up touching a little bit of the body and it bled into it, which kind of actually looks like panda fur. Yep. Right? That looks really cool. I love that. So, now, actually, we really do need to take a break because we're going to do the patches on the eyes. And so I wanted to have a little bit more of a solid color and not blend in as much. Or should we go for it? Do you want to blend? Let's take a quick break. Okay. Gives a chance for a snack or walk around the room. Okay. Who knows? We'll take a quick break. So you want, I want you to let it fully dry and then we'll meet you back for the next steps. Okay, so we are back and our painting is fully dry. So the next step is, like I said, is we're gonna draw the eye patches mm. because actually the black part of pandas isn't the eye. I always, I kind of thought it was. I only knew this recently. Really? Please continue. Yeah, so the eye patch is around it and then the eye is it's, on top of that. It's an itty bitty it. eye. Yeah. yeah, I know. So we're gonna draw the eye patch first. So grab your paintbrush and then dip your brush in water to get it, because it dried off a little bit, hit it off to the side, and then dip in your gray. Now, to do this is you're gonna draw two ovals. So on the left side of our face, you're gonna draw an oval, and then draw another one. Ooh, you're barely touching your brush to the paper. Real yes! Soft. So thank you for saying that, because I wanted to show you something is, maybe we can do a side angle where you can see and if not, that's okay. But what I'm doing is I'm barely, yeah, so that'll be awesome. So I'm barely touching the paper. So it's just like this, and I'm just sweeping my paper like that. You shouldn't draw on yourself, Nicole. <laughs> I was showing. <laughs> so on the left side is I'm barely touching the paper. Maybe you do a little test. How light can you touch it? Ooh. And barely touch it and see it still paint. So there's another oval. And then we'll do it one more time. An oval and an oval. Fun! 
Okay. Nice. Next up is, is their nose. Now, their nose is like another oval shape, but it's kind of like two ovals put together, two really, really small ones. So, I also wanna teach you another trick to be kind to your brushes, is do you see when I'm dipping in, is I'm gonna dip in, and I have a lot on my brush right now, but if I go off to the side of my palette and I roll, it's moving the paint around, and so it's not all sitting right here. So to, the reason why is that when I do and draw, when I go and draw these really small pieces, it won't really smash onto the paper. So I'm gonna really lightly touch and draw two ovals. And again, I'm really lightly touching the paper. So draw an oval, we'll do that here. And another oval. Do you want another fact? Yeah, go for it. Cubs, which are the children of pandas. So these are the cubs. Are well protected in their first month. Mother pandas keep contact with their cub nearly 100% of the time during their first month, with the cub resting on her front and remaining covered by her paw, arm, or head. So she protects her for 100 days? 100%. 100% 100 of the time for one month. They don't go anywhere else? Nope. Wow, they're, I've heard that they're really good mothers, actually. They're when great I was mothers. learning about that, I read about that. It's a great fun fact. So we're gonna draw, we did our nose, now we need to do the mouth. So to do that is, there's a few different ways you can do it. You can draw a line coming down the center, and then you can draw a smiley face. Or you can maybe on the mama, we're gonna draw another line, but I'm gonna do two smiley faces or two curves. Curve and a curve. Do you see that? Yeah. Just really slightly different, so you get to pick how you wanna draw. So there's our smiley face. Look at that! Cute! Our pandas are coming to life. So is this a cub and a cub and a mama, like we said? Yep. Okay, gotta make up a story as we paint. Hmm. So think about that. While Keenan's thinking about that, is let's draw the arms. So their arms are on their body. They have black right here. So we're gonna add that and draw a strip. So dip your brush in black again and draw a strip paint. Now, here's the cool thing that I wanna show you is do you see how I'm pushing really hard? So instead of last time where we were just using the tip, I was pushing really hard because I was painting a bigger area. So we're gonna do that and then I wanna show you is you can draw the arm. So I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm gonna paint and then let's see what happens if I push. Look at that, do you see the bristles? Ooh, very nice technique. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna make the arm bigger. <laughs> yes, that's adorable. <laughs> Let's do it again. Paint and push, because I'm doing a bigger area. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a... Kind of looks like a teenager. Well, right now it kind of looks like the bear is holding a big, a big barrel of something. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, so let's repeat the steps for the mama. Oh, did you come up with a story about them, Keenan? So I wanted to know if pandas could have more than one cub at a time. Oh, and what's the answer? The answer is yes. They give birth to one to two, one to two cubs per time. They can only have kids for about 10 years. Oh, wow. So mama pandas can usually in 10 years give birth to um, I think they said four, no, six to eight. Six to eight cubs in 10 years. Oh. Yeah, so not a lot of pandas floating around out there. Per mama. For, per mama, yeah. So I thought, well, if they can have two, then they're twins. And they're, you know, so they're siblings. Mm-hmm. And I'm still working on what they, what their names are and what they like to do for fun. Okay, well, we, we still got more of our painting so we can think about it. Okay. And I have a fact to go along with cubs, too. Okay, tell us. They are courageous. They're very brave. Mm -hmm. So, remember how they, uh, for one month, they are with their mother the whole time? Mm-hmm. Well, by month five, giant pandas learn how to climb, sometimes practicing by climbing on their mum. But the picture this shows is them climbing a tree. Cool. In five months. Wow. Yeah. 
Five month old. Five month old climbing trees. So <laughs> kids better get you know up your game. Pandas are climbing trees. <laughs> so this little cub is actually wanting to climb. So I thought that let's do that and make the arms like they're up in the air, like he's reaching. So I drew the same step where we did the stripe and then I'm gonna extend it and make it a little bit longer. And do you see that? So what we're doing is we're just adding a curve to the end and then filling it in. Nice. So it looks like his arms are up in the air. He's stretching. Yeah, he's stretching, reaching for that tree. See, he just woke up then, that means. Oh, okay. He's a little sleepier than his twin. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good with the story. Now, we're gonna draw their, or paint their paws. So one thing I want you to notice is that, do you see how on this one, their paws aren't straight like this, they're kind of angled like this a little bit. So if you think about it, they're sitting up like I am right now and their legs are out. So maybe you can do this with, with me, you won't see my feet, but sit down and I want you to put your legs out on the floor or out in front of you. Do you see how your feet aren't straight up like this, right? Are they kind of curved? A little bit, even if not a lot, just a little bit, because our, our feet n tend to naturally do that. Do yours do that? Curl? Yeah. Curve? Yeah. Like I'm not straight so. up like this. Your toes are popped Yeah, my up. toes are kind of a little bit like this, a little bit. So, or maybe if yours don't do that and they go in, maybe you draw your feet going in. Oh. Everyone is unique. That's so, true. however you want, I just wanted to do a little fun thing to see is what happens. So we're going to pick up your black again or your gray, and you're going to draw your paws. So on the left side, I'm gonna draw an oval, and mine are curved like that, and then I'm gonna paint it in. Then draw another oval, and paint that in. So we're gonna repeat those steps for the mama bear. Mama bear, did you make up names for them? Not yet, I'm struggling. Okay. Struggling on names. It's okay. Because their personalities haven't really hit me yet. Okay. Other than one sleeps a lot. Because pandas, I have a fact. Okay. So, well, two facts. Fact number one, you talked about their, their paws and their hands. They have an extended wrist bone that looks like a thumb, but yeah. it's actually their wrist bone, and they use it to help them grip their food. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna draw those. Sweet! Or actually, no, we, we learned about them at the bottom of our step sheet, but yes. Isn't that crazy? It's the front paws, so that's the thing, yes. is we're doing the bottom oh, paws, but yeah, their front paws, mm -hmm. because they grip bamboo, like that's what you were saying? Yes. Yes. So with their personalities, all pandas, spend 10 to 16 hours a day feeding. That is a long time. That's the majority of the day. Guess what they do between feedings? Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> so they just eat and they sleep. They just eat and sleep. They live the dream life. Even the adults? Uh-huh. <laughs> yep, all of them. <laughs> okay, that's an amazing fun fact. I'd wanna be a panda now Me too, when yeah. I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we actually are done. When you're done with your paws, we're done with our watercolors. So whenever you're done with things, is I want you to sweep the bottom of your cup with your brush, and then on your paper towel, I want you to paint it and roll it and put it off to the side, and then cover up your paint. Because what we are doing now is we're going to use our white jelly roll. Now this is a really fun pen, and like I said, if you don't have this, you can use white paint if you have, but the white jelly roll is fun because we're gonna use that to draw on top of our paint. Now, there are a few things we're gonna draw. Let's start with the eyes. So the eyes, like we were saying, are on the patches. They're actually really small up here. So what we're gonna start with is you're gonna draw a circle on your eye patch. So draw two circles, and then you're gonna draw a dot. Now, I'm curious, I wanna learn more about their eyes and the shapes of them. Me too. But for right now, I'm gonna draw a little dot inside of them so they look like they're looking at us. Then, let's see. So my pandas are a little wet, I realize. I didn't let them dry fully. So what I'm gonna do is, you can either take a snack break or I'm gonna use my handy heat it craft tool and I'm gonna just blow dry it a little bit.
I've thought of names. I think that's good. Okay, you thought of names? Yep. Okay, tell us while I draw the rest of the eyes. Their names are Frank and Joe. Okay. The oh, bigger, the, the, the Cubs? Big, uh-huh. The bigger one is the older one, so they're not twins anymore. I've changed my mind. Okay. Because I thought of several things. They're going to be brothers. They're going to be, their last name is Hardy, and it's Frank and Joe Hardy. Hardy has a double meaning because they're, they're big. They're big bears, so they're hardy. Okay. And they're courageous. And if you've ever heard of the Hardy Boys book series. I haven't. Oh, it's a great series that I grew up reading. Cool. When I was a child. Uh, Frank and Joe are brothers, and they solve mysteries. So that is where the story begins. Fun. Okay. I like it. Okay, perfect. So Frank and Joe? Frank and Joe. And we still don't know the mama's name yet. Not yet. Okay. Frank and Joe. So on Frank... We are going to draw his toes first. So, like Keenan said, on the paw, on the front paws, because when you grip things, it's on the front ones. Those have six, six toes or six fingers. They're I guess. They're like fingers. Yeah, but we're drawing the feet, so those don't have that. So they have five, just like us. So you're gonna draw five little ovals with space in between for the toes. And then you're gonna draw a bigger one in the center for the paw part. I have an idea for the fingers. Okay. If you wanna make sure your ovals are spaced, uh -huh. like Nicole's, you could start with the middle one since there's five. You could do the, find the middle spot in your black oval, mm -hmm. and then do your tiny little oval, and then do two on either side of that one. I like that. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Good trick. Thanks. Thanks, Keenan. I think I learned that from you. <laughs> Probably. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to keep, so we'll draw these while we learn what the mama's name is. Sweet. We're going to go with Francine. Okay. Because why not? You know, if she looks like a Francine, maybe she wanted a daughter and that's why Frank is named Frank. Because <laughs> it's close to her name? Yeah. Francine. Okay. Where do they live? They live in Pandaville. Okay. How many people live in Pandaville? Or how many pandas live in Pandaville? 24. Wow, not a lot. No, it's a really tight-knit community. Cool, I love it. Yeah. You know, because they, they are social, but they only have two kids at most, you know? Yeah. So it's like, it's a great tight-knit community. Get close to one another. Share each other's food. Solve mysteries. Cool. It's a our, great neighborhood. Our Frank and Joe, do they like each other? Oh, yeah. They're best friends. That's awesome. They are BFFs forever. That's cool. So they're siblings, but they're best friends. Yeah, they snack together. They eat their, their main diet item is bamboo. It's critical to their diet. It's so fun to make up stories. And this is something that you can do with your pandas when you're drawing them, is you think of stories. And then even when you're done like this, is we've done a few projects where we add little speech bubbles to them. So if they're saying something to each other, or yes. maybe you write their name at the top. The oh, loot is in the cave, you could write that. What? The loot is in the cave. It's part of the mystery that they're solving. Okay, <laughs> I didn't realize we were solving a mystery. Well, now we are. <laughs> Um, this is your chance when you're done to be creative. So, or like Kina said, they eat bamboo. So maybe you use, you have green. So maybe you draw some bamboo in the Ooh, background. That's a good idea. Wouldn't that be pretty? So you get to make this your own. Now, another fun idea that I wanted to share is what if you make more pandas, you do another one, but you invite your friends or your family to come along and you paint them different colors. Yes, that would be fun. There Ooh, actually are red rainbow. pandas. There are red pandas. There are red pandas. Oh, you can do rainbow pandas. And actually, that reminds me, I wanted to give a shout out to Jillian. So Jillian has paint, been painting with us. Jillian! We're so excited that you've been with us, and we love seeing your photos in our, our Facebook group. And we wanted to give her a shout out because she's doing our elephant Spl elephant splash party project and this is another fun one where they're animals it's a party it's family so maybe you want to paint this one as well so jillian thanks for painting with us and 
We want to see what you make. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects where you can join us and share. And we have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. And this was so much fun. So fun. And I forgot one other and. There's so many different ands. Yes. Did you know that Jelly Rolls has more colors? I did not. Tell me more. So if this is the white one, I was just thinking my brain was going, if we do rainbow ones, maybe you can do different colors of Jelly Rolls. Ooh, I did know one. about the gold one. We have used the gold one. We really like the gold one too. So there's different colors. So anyways, I hope you have so much fun. Use your creativity because always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative. And we'll see you next time. Bye.